A grandfather is someone with silver in his hair and gold in his heart. That's my granddaddy. He's 72 years old and he has a heart of gold. James Paul Wood was born in Murray County, Georgia, March 14, 1937. He's not a doctor and he's not a preacher. He's not a soldier. But he has touched hundreds of lives with little things he does on a daily basis. 52 years ago, my granddad started a church in his home along with a few other men. The church still exists today in a building that he helped build. He helps people locally and in foreign countries through his work in the church for over half a century. For years, he drove the church van. He, he had to leave his house an hour early to pick up anybody who needed a ride. Sometimes the old van wouldn't start and he would have to get rolling down a hill to get it going. He doesn't drive the church van anymore, but he still picks up anybody who needs a ride. Even now, he and my grandmother pick up a blind lady who can't drive herself. Granddad also played surrogate father to some of the kids whose fathers weren't around. Grand my grandparents would include them in family outings just like they were family. Granddad says his goal in life is to make it to heaven and to take as many people with him as he can. According to Thomas Jefferson, it is in our lives and not our words that our religion must be read. I think with the life Granddaddy lives, he'll reach his goal because his religion is not just words, he lives it. Not only does he touch lives through church, he helps out strangers. Recently, I asked him how he has helped somebody, and he could tell me too in just one week. Someone needed directions, and not only did he take the time to give him directions, when he saw that they made a wrong turn, he stopped them and let them follow. Another man needed money to get back to Illinois. Granddaddy gave him money for a meal and gas to get to Illinois. That was just two happenings in one week. But my granddaddy has a lifetime of these experiences. When someone is sick, my granddaddy helps out. My grandmother bakes and my granddaddy mows the, uh, mows the yard or fixes anything that needs repair. Granddaddy goes to the garden every year and gives food away to family, friends, and neighbors. Granddaddy worked at the post office for over 20 years. His reputation was always going out of his way to get packages delivered, even if they were addressed wrong. He wasn't supposed to do that, but if he knew where they were supposed to go, he'd make sure they got there. Rosa Parks said, each person must live their life as a model for others. That is exactly what Granddaddy does for everyone, especially family. Granddaddy models honesty. Recently, he went to Piggly Wiggly. After paying for his groceries, he got in his car and looked at the receipt, and he, he saw that he wasn't charged for an item that he bought. So he went back inside and paid for that item. My mom always told me, you're the only Bible that some people will ever read. My granddaddy models the Bible. He turns a cheek, he forgives, and he loves. His example touched lives of his family and will carry them on for generations. I asked my granddaddy to describe a time that he felt proud of himself, and he said, I feel proud of myself when my grandkids come and hug my neck. It makes me feel that they love me. To me, he is the closest thing that you can get to being perfect nowadays. He's a great role model for us. Frederick Buckner said, The life I touch for good or ill will touch another life, and that in turn another. You're the Until he knows where the trembling stops or in what far place my touch will be felt. How many lives has my granddad touched? You may have a number in your head right now, but the correct answer is I have no idea. He isn't finished yet.